Hello, hello, hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you today with your weekly reading. This is from June 30th through July 7th. Thank you so much for joining me, all of my Leos. This is for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with, today with your weekly reading. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, Leos. Leos, you guys fall in that fire element. So you are constantly on a journey to spirituality and actually taking action. You know, you're that fire sign, right? Um, so um, a lot of wonderful things about Leos, just like we have a lot of wonderful things about all of our astrological signs. And so when you think about the Leo, you think a lot about um, they're very caring, um, they're very creative, they're very passionate, they're generous, they're warm-hearted, they're cheerful, they're humorous, they are vivacious, they are attention-seeking, they're kind and protective, they're natural leaders, um, um, they are loyal. All right, so while we don't have any planets in retrograde right now that directly affects the Leo, all of the planets in retrograde affect all of us, but there are no like um, um, Leo is actually ruled by the sun. The sun is never retrograde, just like the moon is never retrograde. OK, so you don't have to worry about those planets. Actually, they're luminaries, but we call them planets in astrology um, are never retrograde. So but there could be some other things that's happening around you, Leo. Um, that like, for instance, we have Mercury in retrograde right now until July 12th. So Mercury being in retrograde really affects the um, Gemini and the Virgo um, the most. So if you happen to have Gemini or Virgo in your moon, sun, I mean, your moon rising or Venus, it may affect you. It may affect like um, there could be some disruption in communication and technology, right? So maybe some messages that aren't going across and this could be some mix up in some communication with some people. Um, or we have Jupiter that's in retrograde right now that affects the Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart, it could affect your... Um, it, you could be reflecting on your growth right now. You could be reflecting on development. You could be reflecting on your happiness and success. Just a lot of stuff going on. We have Saturn that's in retrograde right now, Neptune, Pluto in retrograde right now. So it's a lot of things that's happening around you, Leo, okay? So let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me some information for my Leos as it relates to spirituality and them taking action. Like what areas should they be taking action in? Also, um, in terms of their money and their wealth, in terms of their creative energies and juices and also their emotions, also their power and their intellect. So whatever information that you want to share with me, Universe 4, my Leos, please share some information with me for my Leos um, and what's happening with them right now. Let's get into it. Mm hmm. Yep. All right, let's move these over a little bit. Okay, so the Emperor card came out. All right, this is an Aries card. This is for the Aries. All right. So maybe you're a Leo with some Aries somewhere in your um, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, not your sun. We're talking about Leo. That's your sun sign. But we're talking about um, it could be somewhere in your, um, your, uh, your chart. So <clears throat> we have the Knight of Wands, okay? Again, this is fire energy. Your wands cards of your fire energy, which represents your journey to spirituality and taking action, okay? And so there's a lot of things happening, you know, right now with a lot of the, with a lot of people around you. But this right here represents ambition. It represents risk taker. It represents um, action oriented. This is you, okay? This is you. You're taking some action on some things, right? Okay, this right here, this Ace of Swords represents clarity, represents your pure power. It represents a breakthrough for you, okay? So that's what this represents. This is the Swords is the intellect and power. That's the Aquarius, the Gemini, a Libra, okay? We also have the Ace of Wands which represents pure potential, inspiration, illumination. You're inspiring a lot of people around you. You're bringing that bright light with you, okay? And it's representing, 
this breakthrough for you. Yeah, is representing this breakthrough for you. And um, look, four of pentacles, this is money. Your life is in full balance, in complete and full balance, right? And then we have the king of cups. This is showing me that you have something, you're doing something um, to actually inspire people, humanitarian efforts, right? Um, the cups is the what represents the water element. It represents your journey to emotions and creativity, right? And so um, we know that um, in terms of the cups, we have um, Cancer is ruled by the moon, not in retrograde, never in retrograde. But we also have Pisces, Jupiter, um, and Neptune are in retrograde right now. So. Jupiter being in retrograde, talking about your um, spiritual intros introspective. Um, again, this has to do tied directly with your spirituality. Um, and then you have um, Neptune, this is in retrograde spirituality again it's just a very magical time for you your emotions and your creativity so this is a wonderful wonderful time for you leo um a lot of great things happening for you like i said breakthrough a lot of it is attached to your um your spirituality the journey that you're on right now um some wonderful things like i said some wonderful things are happening uh for you Let's see what else we have. All right, let's. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have the sun card right here. This is your card. Remember, it's never. In retrograde okay so I just want you to know that you have the full balance you have the full backing of your um, of the Sun so what do we get from the Sun the Sun gives us life it gives us food it gives us energy right this is very 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 powerful this position right here Leo is showing me that you're receiving all of your information from the Sun okay let me get in close. I want to show you this card. You're receiving all the information from the sun. You're also getting your vitamin D. But again, it's giving you life. It's even it's even giving life to the flowers of your crown on your head. Okay, so it's giving you life. This is masculine, feminine energy. So I don't want anybody to be confused about whether I'm talking about male or female. Okay. Also, um, this um, Princess of Pentacles is. <clears throat> Your thirst for knowledge. You're very, very grounded. You're very practical. And this is your thirst for knowledge. So you are learning some new things along the way as it relates to your spiritual journey. You're just you're just soaking it all up like a sponge, right? So this um this nine of swords represents where you were. You were in a place in the past of just kind of sort of being weighed down by um, um, anxiety and maybe depression a little bit, thinking uh, like, when are things going to happen? Like, when are things going to happen for me? But let me tell you, this right here, this emperor card right here, um, again, which is an Aries card. See this, the, the um, you have the, the scars on your chest. You've already been through it. You've already been through it, right? And so this represents where you were, but you're not there anymore. Look at this six of pentacles. This is your money, free flowing money in and out. You're able to give as much as you're able to receive. This is a wonderful thing, Leo. I want you to know that you have a lot of responsibilities and duties, a lot of responsibilities and duties um, that for some people could appear to this actually weighing them down. But for you, it's a good thing. You're just busy, 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 busy. And so these are, these represent your obligations, responsibilities, and duties that you welcome. You're able to carry these things. So to other people, it may be too heavy to bear, but for you, this is good. This is all good stuff. And so this represents you investing in yourself, your sustainability, right? <clears throat> New beginnings. This is the fruits of your labor. This is the seven of pentacles, right? So you're strong, you're happy, you're healthy, you're able to water your, um, you use those tears of all the things that you've been through right here 
And see, those those are the scars. That's the overarching thing, overarching theme for the major arcana for the emperor. You're used, you use your tears to actually water this tree, which is strong, and it's actually produced these results, the fruits of your labor. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, what I'm seeing for you, Leo, is that it looks like an Aquarius... Um, it looks like somebody with Aquarius in their chart. And so for Saturn, Saturn in um, retrograde is Aquarius is also attached to that. It's not just a Capricorn, but also Aquarius is attached to it. Not just Uranus, but um, Saturn is in retrograde and so is Mercury, right? The swords is attached to the Libra, which is attached to Venus, Gemini, which is attached to Mercury, Aquarius, which is attached to Saturn and Uranus, right? So let's break this down. So Saturn being in retrograde actually represents, it's a ruling planet. It's a time of karma. Karmic debts are um, being sorted out and um, blending the past um, with the the present and the future, right? Um also, Mercury is retrograde right now, so um, there's there could be some disruption with communication and technology, okay? So again, attached to the Aquarius and the Gemini with somebody with Aquarius and Gemini in the chart, but I'm getting real strong Aquarius, actually, um, since Aquarius is a fixed sign, okay, and that Leos are a fixed sign, like this person caused you a lot of stress, right? Um but I don't want to say it's an illusion because it's not an illusion. Um, they caused you a lot of stress, caused you to be in this position of being frustrated and just being here where you, where you are, like in this posture right here. However, however, Leo, um, So, but there was a breakdown in communication. This is what I'm getting. You are fixed. They are fixed. Fixed signs. You both have the dominating energy is the masculine energy. This is why there's so many, uh, this, this is why there's so many um, um, misunderstandings between Aquarius and Leo is that they're both fixed signs. They're both like, I'm going to stay on my ground, right? I believe in what I believe in. You believe in what you believe in. But you don't have to be as fixed on either side. Okay, Leo, this is what I'm getting. Is that there was a disruption in communication. Okay? So even though like this card is showing like some anxiety, some depression, some grief, and all those other things. It didn't kill you, but it was stressful. Like somebody, like a thorn in your side. It was stressful. But I'm here to tell you, Leo, that it is not, it's not as bad as it seemed to be. Like some of it really, really is in your mind. It's not, it wasn't as bad as it seemed to be. Okay. So you are, you are so like booked and busy at this point, like, you're not even really thinking about you're not really thinking about um where you were then because this is the past things are going well for you and so while you've even forgiven this person with this aquarius in their their chart somewhere you've forgiven them things are going well for you um your money is good you just have a free flow of things coming and going um, you have a lot of things going on for you right now, but it's not overwhelming you. You have a lot of obligations and responsibilities, but it's not overwhelming, right? You have the full back and you receiving your information from the sun. And so that's like for your vitamin D, it's actually giving you life. It's just a wonderful thing that's happening with you um, right now. And um you're also, like I said, in forgiving mode. 
And so that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be in a mode of forgiveness because you're not even thinking about the person with this in their chart that could have caused you this angst or frustration because you're doing well. Like one of the um, character traits for Leo is living the good life. You know, you ask a lot of Leos and they're like, I'm living a good life. You know, you have gone back into... I forgive, forgive, forgive. I have self-love. I'm on another journey of increasing my knowledge. You have this thirst and hunger for knowledge and you're receiving the information from the sun. So you are you are in a really good, healthy place. Like I said, this, this represents the past. And see, reason why we need to really break this we okay so aquarius is your opposing um opposing um astrological sign but you guys are still in the air and fire elements which technically you really guys you know with the with the um um you know um air fuels fire you know fuels fire I think what it is like with the Aquarius and the Leo in particular, since this is what's coming up in the cards, is because you all are both masculine energy and you're both fixed signs, okay? And so if you all can learn to um, exist in a space where the Aquarius really respects the Leo and a Leo really respects where Aquarius is coming from, you guys are a powerful, powerful, powerful team together. Um, but again, it is because you guys are both fixed signs. And again, when I say you guys, I mean masculine, feminine energy, please. I hope no one gets offended by me saying you guys, but this is masculine, feminine energy. But again, um, you're on this, um, you're on this path to receiving information from the sun, which is very, very, very powerful. You've been through a lot. Like I said, you still have this, um, this emperor, um, you, because you've been through a lot, this, this emperor is, like I said, is an Aries. Um, you're very authoritative, you're very ambitious and you're very, very powerful. And so recognize that the Aquarius is also very, very powerful too. And they're very intellectual. So again, working together, Leo and Aquarius, this is why sometimes I, I hear people say, oh, okay, well, we know that you guys are polar, um, the polarity, so your Leo's polarity is Aquarius, right? <clears throat> but you guys are very powerful together in terms of what you all bring to the table. So it doesn't have to be like this, is what I'm saying. It does not have to be like this at all, where it's just like, oh, I can't get this person to, oh, if I could just... <laughs> No, it doesn't even have to be like that because like I'm saying here, the princes of pentacles, your, your thirst for knowledge is that's your money, your thirst for knowledge. Right. And so recognize that Aquarius is are also highly intellectual and they're also thirsty for knowledge. But imagine if you all came together and did some work together. <sighs> amazing, amazing, amazing. But yeah, so <clears throat> This is what I have starting out for you. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I need some water. This is what I have starting out for you, Leos, <clears throat> that you're very, very powerful. You're very authoritative. You're very ambitious. Um, and what you may have thought caused you stress, strain, and struggle in the past, maybe you, you worked on something with an Aquarius. It just didn't work out well because you all are equally like... Um, um, powerful um but imagine how things would have worked out had you all really put your heads together like you be in charge of this department you be in charge of this department and together we're just a powerful team yeah and i don't mean necessarily like in a love interest it could be but i don't that's not what i see i'm seeing like in like a like a um <clears throat> like an aquarius could have caused you a lot of just headache you know, in the past, but it didn't have to be that way. Let's see. Judgment. Okay. <clears throat> so the judgment card is attached to um, the Scorpio. And so right now, Pluto, which is Scorpio's ruling planet, is in retrograde. So again, it's time to reflect. Pluto is a planet of transformation. And so... <clears throat> 
it gives you an opportunity to backtrack, to create a space for reflection. Okay. So <clears throat> Pluto is a planet of awesome power. Remember I said Aquarius is their journey. They um, Aquarius is represent a journey to intellect and power. And this is why I'm getting this so, so strong that, um, somewhere Aquarius is coming up in quite a few people's car, but, um, this is why I'm saying, because this judgment card, which is attached to Scorpio, which is attached to Pluto, um, is, um, you know, giving you opportunity to create a space for reflection. So Leo, what I'm saying to you is that you are very powerful you are a, um, a, a spiritual being. You are a person that takes action, right? There is an Aquarius somewhere in your, uh, in your life. They have Aquarius in this sun, moon, rising Venus somewhere in there that also is very, very powerful. And you all would be in a dynamic team together if you respect what the other person brings to the table is what I'm saying to you. Um, <clears throat> And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I have for you, but this is a create a space of like reflecting and like really, really thinking about some things, because what I'm getting is that there was some breakdown in communication between you and Aquarius and, uh, because you all are both fixed signs and you're both each other's polarity that, um, definitely an Aquarius. Let's see. It's time to take action. Mm -hmm. Time to take action. All right. And so t action, again, is in the fire signs. That's in the, your journey to spirituality and, and actually taking action. And it says new moon in Aries. This emperor card is Aries. I'm going to sit this right here real quick. So again, Aries, the emperor card represents authority, ambition, and power. So you and this Aquarius have exactly the same authority, ambition, power, okay? Um, but because you all are polar signs and because people have traditionally said that, you know, you all just don't get along, that is absolutely not true. Like you all can tear that down yourselves by just respecting the power, ambition, and authority that both of you bring, the intellect that both of you bring, and just <clears throat> being a dynamic team. Okay, let's see what these um these cards have. And this is the uh sacred vision cards. Yeah, let's see what this these have. Mm-hmm. giveaway things would be golden if you all came together i mean really really golden and i mean this this takes some time to like some going some getting some information from the sun this is some real like mature adult stuff like okay we can do this <laughs> like we can do this and what I'm actually seeing is like, um, um, I don't know why these two people came to mind. These two celebrities came to mind because if I said their name, you'd be like, uh, see, that didn't work out. But it was because they were both vibrating at a low frequency. They were very, very drawn to each other, but um, because of drugs and alcohol, which caused them to, you know, you, you see it like a, a liquor store. It's, it could say wine and spirits, right? But those spirits are very, very real. And they will cause you to vibrate at a low frequency. So um, I won't mention the two people, but I'm telling you together, they were just a dynamic pair, okay? Um, but because of the drugs and alcohol, it caused them to vibrate at a lower frequency. But separately, they were both powerful. When they came together, like people would like, okay, I can't believe it. They, that's just a dynamic pair. Um, and they still were a very dynamic pair, but just having to vibrate at a, uh, they have to vibrate at a higher frequency. This is a yellow, this is the life is golden. Life is golden. And so, uh, like I said, there is a, um,
there is a and, and this is what I want you to understand, Leo, okay? <clears throat> because again, I'm getting very strong Aquarius. Very, very strong Aquarius. But even when I look at the cards, I see very strong Aquarius. Um energy. Understand something, Leo. <clears throat> Aquarius is strong enough to allow you to shine, like to be out in the forefront, you know. Um, but what's important is that, again, you all recognize each other's strength and your power and your ambition and your authority, right? But together you all can make a dynamic pair, like <laughs> really dynamic pair. And so that's what I'm getting, Um but it's going to take some time of like reflection and like tearing down like the um, traditional beliefs and the thoughts again, because both of you are fixed signs. But I'm getting it, I'm getting it very, very, very strong, like breakthrough strong, <clears throat> like illumination strong, or like, you know, intellectually strong. Um, and just the thought of it may cause you to go back in this mind frame like pfft, there is no way, <laughs> absolutely no way, but I'm telling you, give it some thought, like give it some deep introspection thought about, because um, together you all could be just like amazing, like filthy freaking rich, like amazing um, journey to money and wealth. But that is what I have for you, um, Leo. I am very, very excited because traditionally there would be people on the outside that would say that this partnership or this venture with an Aquarius in you would not work, but because an Aquarius will allow you to shine. They will even um, step back out of the spotlight so that you can shine because they already know how powerful and intellectual they are, but they don't, they don't mind allowing you to just be you like to just really, really shine. And there, but there has to be a level of respect there on both sides. Like the Aquarius has to say, I respect the Leo. Leo has to say, I respect the Aquarius. And okay, that's just the Leo. Leo is just, you know, a Leo is just being a Leo and then Leo has to say to the Aquarius, oh, the Aquarius is just being the Aquarius, right? But recognizing that um, because you all are both fixed, that traditionally there are going to be people, people on the outside that don't want it to work. They're going to try to pull out the negatives for the Leo, try to pull out the negatives for the Aquarius. It doesn't matter. Like you all are both powerful in your own right and you make some, a wonderful partnership. But that is what I have for you, Leo. So thank you so much for joining me again. This has been a reading for Leos for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Queen of Moon Ra coming to you with your weekly Tuesday readings. This reading is from June 30th through July 7th. But that is what I have for you for my Leos. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Have a great week. Bye.